Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel Yes, honey, baby We're going to be talking about two remarkable young ladies And that is Kenya Moore and baby girl Brooklyn Or Bricky And they are so happy Yes, Kenya got her baby girl out here Rolling around on four wheels in the Rolls Royce Bricky is so happy she loves her mom and her dad and they make her feel wonderful Cause she's so happy Yes, yeah, she's so happy And I like the way Kenya just takes her around and takes pictures of her And she's just so ecstatic She like, clap along if you feel that happiness is the truth Because Bricky's happy Bricky Bricky happy riding in that Rolls Royce Clap your hands if you know what a happiness is to you Bricky says happy Yes Bricky say I'm happy Yeah I don't know if she was riding down 20 or she was riding down 285 but Kenya had her out there in the sunshine and she was just throwing up her hands saying I'm so happy I'm so happy with my mommy. I'm so happy because it's sunny. I'm so happy because I got my mommy. And she's bad. She's bad. She's bad. She's making money. And they so sad. But I'm with my mommy. And I'm happy. Yes, I'm happy. Say it a little bit louder. Brookie. Cause she's so happy Looking at her mom Looking like her dad Girl, Bricky is happy Riding around in that expensive car She can speak two languages What I can hear She's learning to speak a second language Which is wonderful Kenya's doing a damn good job, honey If she didn't do a good job We're trying to stay in her marriage She's doing a damn good job We're raising Bricky Cause every time I see Bricky she be smiling and she be happy. Even when she cutting up doing something she know she had no business doing. <laughs> and she see Kenya. And Kenya making them uh, special, uh, facial expressions at her. And her tone change. She be trying to make like a jokey joke. Because <laughs> I caught one. Uh, some live video she had. Bricky, Bricky had jumped in the pool. In the shallow end of course. And she was messing up her dress. <laughs> <laughs> Bricky said, hell, mama, I'm hot. Shit, I don't know what you talking about. It's hot as hell out here. I had to cool off. <laughs> she said, can you say it? Bricky, you did not ask mommy to get in that pool. <laughs> and Bricky looked like, I ain't have to ask you, honey. I was hot. I don't know what you talking about. And you don't taught me how to swim, too? Shoot, I ain't stand you. <laughs> and Bricky was acting like she couldn't um, understand what her mama was saying. She was trying to play dumb. <laughs> And can you like, uh uh, baby, I didn't raise no dumb children right here, around here. Okay, you know exactly what I'm saying. And she probably told her butt up out the off camera, of course. <laughs> because you can't spare the rod on children. You got to give them a little tap here and there. And it just is what it is. All right. But Bricky was out there going down the streets of the highways. And she was having fun, honey. She was clapping along. She was throwing up her hands. She was having the breeze go through her hair. And she was like, I'm happy. Gather along if you feel that 
happiness is the truth because i'm happy come along if you feel that you know happiness is you you know i'm making up this whole thing guys but she glad her mama back on uh the real housewives of atlanta she glad her mama taping so her mama could be off her ass sometimes she can have some fun <laughs> getting into mischiefs like most kids do but Nah, Kim basically, she's raised her right. She's a good kid. And you can tell in all of her demeanor, even when she's taping, she's good. So, but I'm with Mark. I don't want to see Brooke all up on Real Housewives of Atlanta too much. Unless they're doing home scenes or something like that. Or they're going shopping and this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? But Brooke like, shoot, let the wind just fly through my hair, honey. Woo, maybe I can get some rest and fall asleep. I don't know, Mom, how long we got? <laughs> How long we got with the top let down? Ooh, almost like T.I. I like my top let down. I like my seats down low. Something. I don't know. I was trying to rap one of T.I. songs uh, when he was flossing through the street. But y'all know what, what song I'm talking about. But Kia's a mess, honey. But she's enjoying life at this time. She is definitely letting Bricky enjoy life even though they are not a couple or or entity anymore they are still learning how to co-parent with one another and i don't think brookie has ever been a big issue uh because he knows king is a good mom and she wouldn't do anything to put her in harm's way but he just don't want to let go okay and i'm like can you don't you go back to that man <laughs> just let him be a good dad to his daughter and and keep it trucking keep it moving girl keep it moving all right when it's time for you to have another bow in your life it will be time but honey, you and Bricky continue. Yes, y'all continue to be throwing up them hands, enjoying life, enjoying every experience y'all will have with one another. And even when you are by yourself trying to make it do what it do, Kenya, you're not alone. Just because that nut didn't act right or you didn't pay him enough money to be with you. Hell, I don't know which way it goes. But we know it wasn't a good fit. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a good fit on TV because he sure was wearing your ass out for the negative. He didn't want to hear it. He he just really dehumanized you on air, girl. And I was like, woohoo, can you wake up, honey? You're in a trance. You don't fall to let him get all over you like that. And you don't have no comeback. But in her words, she was just trying to be submissive, trying to play the dutiful wifey role. And everybody wanted to like slap her side of the head like, girl, that's not true. What you doing? Especially Candy. Candy and Cynthia, they were on her like white on rice. Like, baby girl, wake up. Wake up. Wake out of your trance, honey. But she's finally broke the curse. She's woken, awoken up. And she's looking at things from a different perspective and eye lenses, okay? She sees the future in the horizon. She sees the light at the end of the tunnel. And she's walking through and she's walking through and coming through for baby girl Brooklyn. She's continuing to um, be successful in her career in the entertainment business. And I'm pretty sure she's producing and doing other things such as um, PSAs or personal service announcements for uh, women of color and just women in general and you know she's doing the darn thing behind the scenes so we congratulate her we congratulate all that she has done with raising brickley to this point and her continued journey with being a mother and a um entrepreneur and solidifying deals here and there girl but when i saw this um little um video she put out with Bricky in the back seat in her car seat and she just listening to that happy song by uh john legend and she was just throwing up her hands and smiling and pointing i was like that girl got love in her she got love in her and only the good lord and kenya instilled that in her it's like like she probably love everybody honey <laughs> <laughs> she probably saying, well, why your car ain't looking like my car? Why your car sounding raggedy over there? Mom, we need to buy them a car. They need to be riding like us. And King Paul said, girl, you better hush your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> she probably pulled over and said, let me let, me let this top up. <laughs> that girl is crazy in the back. Trying to invite people over here to ride with us. So thinking, I'm going to buy them something to ride in. What's wrong with that girl? 
I taught her how to give. But shit, this is a very expensive car. And she talking about me? Finna go over there and help somebody else get one of these? <laughs> I guess she said, honey, I have to make several, several triple million dollars to do that. Okay, I ain't Oprah running around here saying, you get a car, you get a car, you get a car. <laughs> she said, I ain't finna go bankrupt. Your dad already worried me as it is trying to get in my bank account. Trying to say I owe him this, that, and third because I don't want his behind no more. And I woke out of my trance and I ain't following him and uh, being mesmerized by his looks and his talents. <laughs> She said, girl, I'm about to teach you about the world of finance. Because we just don't give. That's not a tax write-off. <laughs> but it was a cute scene. It was a cute scene. And I was loving every minute of it. But y'all get down in those comments. And we'll come back with another uh, housewife. Or I should say ex-housewife. That was trying to floss in them streets as well. Having a chauffeur and her mom in the car and her baby girl. And they listening to us on Beyonce before I let go. I'm like, man, you better listen to the real version. Frank and Beverly and May's child. Forget what Beyonce did to that song. Because she made me mad when she tampered with that song. That's a history song. You don't go tampering with the greats. The greats. The greats. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, it is what it is. And I'll be back with that video shortly. And entertain, entertain you all a little more. But other than that. This video is complete and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.